Hey everyone, so today's video will be in loving memory of Bobby Garcia. May his soul rest in peace and may his family also receive peace and strength during this hard time. Eternal rest grant unto the departed, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And first off, we will start off with the unboxing of this acrylic nail system set from Cozery. They have a nice little glass um, cup for your monomer. And then they have your monomer packaged nicely in a little plastic covering to prevent any spillage. And then we have your three acrylics, which is like a very clear pink and a clear and then a white. Here you have your nail drill bits, which was really cool. And then they also have your, your wire connections for your hand drill. And the hand drill is fairly small if it's in the palm of your hands and it's very lightweight. I'm going to demonstrate just a little bit how it works and it actually works pretty well. Um, it works pretty similar to my Melody Susie drill. And then here I have some clear dual forms. That was really cool that they had these ones in there. These will work really well for my poly gel sets actually, um, especially with those darker colors. Um, and then they come with three different size brushes. Here I have some extra long square tips from Mech, which is also on Amazon. And then here I will be scuffing up all that shine so that I have a um, good foundation for the acrylic to adhere to. Also, I am making sure to kind of like flatten the ridges right there on the nail bed so that there's not like a lump when I am working although you guys will see that there will be plenty of lumps in my work so disclaimer this is literally my first time doing acrylic I have not done acrylic on myself I've tried acrylic on some press on sets but that's nothing compared to doing it on a person so I'm so sorry if you acrylic people are cringing at my technique here. Um, I had planned to execute this more smoothly, but this was my first time and I was a little nervous, especially because I was like recording. So I knew this was my one shot. So um, I'm so sorry <laughs> that you guys are going to sit through this. Um, tragedy but it ends well I promise so as you see I am kind of breaking up a little bit of those gold flakes and just adding it to the acrylic and then applying the acrylic to the top of the white acrylic to try to encapsulate those gold flakes I am stuck in my poly gel way so I'm literally treating this acrylic as if it was poly gel um, I totally forgot from what I've seen on YouTube videos on how to kind of like pat down and bring down the acrylic beads here I was just kind of like pulling it and like patting it like in weird movements so it just wasn't coming out smooth as I wanted it to obviously because I was doing it wrong so yeah that's what happened <laughs>
here I am going to go in with that clear acrylic on my ring finger all of the other fingers are all white with gold flakes as you guys can see um, I was trying to go for a, a kind of like a heavenly vibe kind of Michelangelo 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 looking and Catholic Cathedral style um, look So now I am going to be filing. I had I do I did want to use the hand drill, but I'm addicted to my McCart hand files. So I just felt more comfortable with it and I just filed them down to the shape that I wanted them to and just try to work on my shaping. And at the end of the shaping and filing, I did notice that on top obviously i didn't do a great job it was a little bumpy so there are some little like dips as you guys can see i'm trying to show you guys here that it's not 100 percent even so to fix that i will go in with my mccart clear and just kind of like fill in those little potholes i was thinking of leaving them because i was gonna you know like cover them in charms anyways um but i didn't want them to be visible i think they were a little bit too little too dippy there so yeah i just had to go in with my clear Here I am going to go in with that base coat to use as a slip solution substitution. And I am going to do the same thing for each finger, making sure that I fill in all of those little dips. And that's another thing, that's why I really love poly gel because it's so versatile. You can use it on any type of material, nail material. Um, I've used it on dipped nails to do a fill-in and it, it worked pretty well. It did not separate from the product and I also did not have any separation issues with the clear poly gel on top of the acrylic. Going in now with my McCart top coat on all of the nails. And then I have all of my supplies that I'm going to be using and I'm just placing on my charms to see where they will be placed. And I'm going to be using a rhinestone glue that I found on Amazon that I will also link in the description box. And the majority of these charms I used, um, I got them from AliExpress. I will link those in the description box as well. And then I did use my McCart decoration set. I used a lot of those beautiful pearls and those smaller caviar bead sized pearls and the gold ones as well. It really finished off my look, what I was trying to go for. And I really loved how they came out. I apologize, I did not get to film the whole entire decorating scene. My phone ran out of film and so this is what I had to work with. I'm so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked this set. So big shout out to Kozri for sending me this kit. I really liked it. It was beginner friendly, I would say, as I am completely a beginner from a in the acrylic world. I have no idea what I'm doing. But, thank you all so um, much for thank you watching for this experience Please stay and the tuned opportunity for my next to video. try these out. Like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, peace be with you.